it. The other thing you should know about it is that this kind of smell is actually pretty um, common. It's not a unique sm smell because a lot of people have been wanting to um, dupe or make a clone for Baccarat to try for tea. So everybody is coming up with fragrances that smell like this. So if you're wearing this, know that you are not going to be unique. It's not going to smell like nothing nobody has ever smelled before. It's not going to smell so special. That being said. Love you guys <laughs> this is your wing lady and i'm back with another lit video <laughs> how you guys doing i hope you're doing well because i'm doing well you know if i wasn't doing well i'll come on here and just be complaining that i'm not doing well i'm not doing well but i'm doing well <laughs> so i hope you are too if this is your first time of seeing me hi please subscribe to the channel welcome to our family i mean join our family <laughs> And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching my videos. I love you guys so much. So today, I'm back with another review for you guys. This is La Tafa Anna Abied Rouge. So, if you've been wondering how this smells, and probably you're thinking of buying it, and you're not sure whether to buy it or not, this is the video you should watch. <laughs> so, this is the presentation. This is how it comes. This is La Tafa Anna Abied Rouge. Apparently, a Jeep for Baccarat Rouge 540. Anna Abiyed in Arabic actually means I am white. It's actually even written on the box. You see that? I am white. <laughs> well, it comes in this nice uh, box like a sleeve. I feel a sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sneezing on camera. <laughs> Sorry, I've never sneezed on camera before. That is so weird. <laughs> this is how it comes. This is the box. <laughs> This is the box, yeah, and this is the bottle. Ooh, yeah. So it comes with a, a pamphlet, okay? It comes with a pamphlet of um, Latafa perfumes and their notes, pictures of Latafa perfumes and all that. So this is the juice. Now, how does this smell? Okay, the cap doesn't key very well, but this is a top quality Latafa perfume. It is sweet. It is citrusy. Right off the top, when you spray it, you get something sweet, something citrusy, something fruity. Also musky. Um, if you have not watched my video comparing um, Anna Abiyed with um, Baccarat to try for tea and Baraka to try for tea, please go watch that because I'm pretty sure you would actually get the entire gist of how this compares to the original Baccarat Rouge 540. But if you were to buy just this without, without having an idea of what Baccarat Rouge 540 smells, this particularly on its own, it smells sweet, fruity, citrusy right off the top. Then after it has developed a little bit, you get muskiness in here. But something that is constant in this perfume is amber. It is an amber perfume. It is, if you love amber perfumes, you're going to fall in love with Anna Beard Rouge. It is such a quality Latafa perfume that you don't get to see this kind of quality every day. It comes in a 60 ml. So it's not even like the regular 100 ml um, Latafa perfumes. It is sweet. It is fruity. It is powdery too, right up the top. Yeah. It is sweet. It is fruity. It is musky. It is powdery. So when you spray it, it gets this delicious burst of sweetness. It doesn't have a synthetic note in here. Maybe because it's a top quality perfume, like I said. It doesn't have a synthetic note that bothers your nose. It doesn't. It is sweet. It is sexy. It is set up. <laughs> it is set up. <laughs> it is really, really, really good. And it is unisex. Men can use it. Women can use it. Even children can use this because it is not irritating at all. But the only thing about this is that it doesn't project much. It forms a scent bubble around you, yeah? It forms a scent bubble around you that you can smell during the day. You get, you can smell sometimes during the day. You'll be catching whiffs during the day. It's not something that once you spray it, you'll be smelling it throughout the day. No, sometimes you just be catching it. Sometimes it, it will disappear. You won't catch the smell on you and you'll be wondering if you still have the perfume on you. Trust me, you still have it on you. Just that some, you grow nose blind to it after a period of time. So when you spray it in the morning, 
go about five sprays, you'll be good. You don't need to go crazy and do 10 sprays and whatnot. If you go about five sprays, you will have it on you and it will smell really nice. But it is not a perfume that you will wear and once you enter into a room, everybody is going to look around and turn back. Who is that wearing that perfume? It is not kind of that. It's not that kind of perfume. The projection is not so amazing in that kind of way. It's not beast mode. It's not beast mode. It just it forms a bubble around you in your personal space. People can smell it in your personal space. But it is so sweet. If you don't like sweet perfumes, stay away from this. The other thing you should know about it is that this kind of smell is actually pretty um, common. It's not a unique sm smell. Because a lot of people have been wanting to um dupe or make a clone for baccarat to try for tea so everybody is coming up with fragrances that smell like this so if you're wearing this know that you are not going to be unique it's not going to smell like nothing nobody has ever smelled before it's not going to smell so special that being said it doesn't mean that it's a bad perfume in fact it's one of the top quality latifa perfumes that i really really love it was in fact it was a lover's first sniff for me because it's that good the longevity it lasts about eight hours on skin very well like i said sometimes the comes on you and you smell it during the day and some other times they perform this disappearing act that you can't smell it anymore but on clothes it lasts about 24 hours to 36 hours 24 to 36 hours conveniently before you have to touch up again it's actually long lasting the only thing is that you spray it you smell it then after a while it's gone then you catch it again then you feel like it's still on you you can't tell if the perfume is still there or not. That is why the longevity is kind of hard to predict. So if you want to know how it smells, just spray it, then leave it down for like a day or two. Then you go back and smell your clothing. <laughs> that is when you catch how long it actually smells. It lasts pretty long. 24 to 36 hours, it does very well. 48 hours, mm, it starts to wind down. It starts to wind down. But it's, it is a sweet, rich, fruity, powdery, musky, amber scent. Amber is constant. You will always get amber in this perfume throughout uh, the first spray to the dry down to the 24 hours. You always catch you always catch the amber. The amber is a constant in this perfume. It's an ambery sweet perfume. It's an ambery sweet perfume. If you like sweet ambery perfumes, this is your go-to. This is your go-to. You should get this. I really really love it. It's a top quality perfume. Like out of all my Latifa perfumes, this is one of my favorite. Not my absolute favorite, but this is one of my favorite because of the quality. Like it is that good. If you've been thinking of buying it, go ahead and just buy it. It is, it is really good. I could bathe myself in this. You know, the funny thing is that you don't actually have to bathe yourself in it before you catch the scent. It is so good. <laughs> yeah, that richness, that creaminess. You also have something creamy in here. Something lactonic, just a tiny little bit. Not much. Not much. You catch the sweetness, the fruitiness, the musk. The amber, of course, always constant. But if you smell deep, you catch something creamy as well. This is a well-blended, well-rounded, quality Latifa perfume. You guys, get a load of this. Get a load of this. I don't know about all the other. I am white, leather. I am white. I think there's there's about three flankers of this um, Anna Abied. But Anna Abied Rouge comes highly, highly, highly recommended. And if you're wanting to smell like Baccarat with 540, this is your best bet. At, so far, out of everything that I've smelled, this is the closest I've smelled to the real Baccarat with 540. So if you're thinking of getting something that smells like Baccarat with 540, you cannot go wrong with Anna Abied Rouge. It is that good. I compared it. It is really, really good. It's just that the longevity, the longevity cannot compare to the real Baccarat. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, so guys, that is the review. Comment down below if you want to see more reviews. You know, this is sort of like, I'm in the area of reviews. I'm reviewing things for you guys. Whatever you want to see, just comment down below that you want to see it. And I'll do my best to make a review video for you guys. <laughs> oh my God, what is that? Bubble. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching you guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. But subscribe to my channel. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> Watch my other videos. And I love you so much. Really love you. Until next time. Ciao. <laughs>